Hi YouTube, Dr. Steve here. We're back at the piano and today we're going to talk about tension and relaxation. Two words that are so closely linked to any instrument we're playing. We're often told that we play too tense. Often we're too tense and don't realize it. Relaxation is very important. And the other question I'd like to address is, does tension play a useful role? Do we need some tension? And I am of the belief that we do. So there's a fine balance between the two of these. You know, we'll just take an example here of a Bach Toccata in C minor. Uh, but really, we could be doing this with anything. So, of course, it's, it's very important to make sure, usually, 90% of the cases, people are too tense. They're too tense, especially here and here in the hand. When this locks, this is a big problem. So, you know, this could be played with too much tension. very tight, my arms are very tight, and this eventually uh, becomes a big problem, really big problem. So it's important to relax. Now what happens if we relax completely? You know, here's an exercise I love to do with students, is pick up their arm and ask them to drop, uh, to just, you know, relax everything so that when I let go of the arm, it should drop, you know, or you could even do this with yourself. And someone who has a lot of tension, what happens is, they're holding their arm up, so you, you, you hold it for them and when you let go, it doesn't drop. So this is a good exercise to just make sure that if you really want to feel what it's like that everything is relaxed, well everything should fall like this. But even in the fingers, that has its use in complicated passages. So if I go, let's say extreme relaxed with this example. better than having all that tension but it's a little bit mushy we're going to another extreme and that's useful let's skip to another part of this view where uh, things get a little more complicated so now I'm too relaxed playing this and there's a vitality missing from the from the music so just a tiny tiny little bit of tension Again, now, really, the thing we're going for is a controlled tension. It's not like out of your control that you're so tense. So you work on being relaxed, relaxed, and then just a tiny little bit of tension. Now all these things, they become very clear when we have just a tiny little bit of tension. Coming back to our example, at the beginning of this fugue. crispy and sounding really rhythmically precise and sharp. We have that definition in that. So a tiny little bit of tension is a good thing. So basically 90% of us, our problem is we're too tense. We have to work on relaxing as much as possible and that helps, that helps technically, even if you're learning this. It helps to feel that relaxation there. Eventually, we want to just fine tune it, have a tiny little bit of controlled uh, tension in the places where we need it. When you come to my master class, we'll talk about it in more detail. Until then, peace out and happy practicing.